What's up, hobby friends? My name is Casey, and this is eBay Miniature Rescues. Today, we're going to take a look at what is possibly the best and most important tool for rescuing miniatures today. And no, they really didn't pay me to say that. It's just that good. So a few weeks ago, the company Anycubic reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check out one of their resin 3D printers. Of course, I said yes, and they sent me the Anycubic Photon S. I cannot begin to tell you how excited I was to get my hands on this 3D resin printer. How I have dreamed of the things that I can print. Not only can you print full-size miniatures and scaled up huge miniatures, but you can print bits. As a person who purposely buys broken and forgotten miniatures, this printer could literally change the game. Recently, I was on eBay and I found a really great orc army for 145 bucks. It came with a ton of figures, but a lot of them were missing pieces or were just broken. I figured this was the absolute best opportunity to put the Photon to the test and see what I could do with it. The first thing I did was go online and find files. To my surprise, there were a ton of awesome options and even better, good options for Orc players. I gathered my assets and began to dream up crazy ways to put them to use on this army. At first I was a little afraid of screwing something up and not getting usable parts out of the printer, but to my absolute delight, it was really easy to get this thing up and running. I prepped my files and loaded them onto a flash drive. After a really quick level of the plate, I hit the print button and eagerly awaited my bits. For as long as I've been in this hobby, I've been a massive fan of orcs. It's been long stated that any kit is an orc kit, and 3D printed parts should be no exception. So I decided to go nuts with this army and give them some crazy bells and whistles. Let's take a look at these Storm Boys. They are really cool models and have a lot of really great movement to them, and I printed out some smoke trails to add to their backpacks and give them proper flying bases. Honestly, this elevated these models to a whole new level. Not only are their poses more dynamic now, but the smoke really brings them to life. One of the boys had a missing jetpack and arm, so I printed out a new backpack and a fancy new clawed hand for him. The pieces went right onto the model with very little effort and gave him a whole new look. This model was broken, unusable in a game. But with a little bit of resin and about 45 minutes, he's back and better than ever. That brings up another point. I buy on eBay because there is a thrill to the hunt. And if I'm being honest, it's a good way to save money. I could go back onto eBay and buy the bits to return this model to normal, but that would cost even more money than I originally intended on spending. Now resin isn't free. But after doing a little bit of math, I worked out the cost of replacing this guy's backpack and arm. About 14 cents in resin. Not too bad. Considering I didn't have to go on eBay and hope to find the missing parts, yeah. There's a little loss in that I won't be on the hunt for these parts, but it's almost instant gratification to print them. And for a lot less money per part. Of course, you're not always going to be able to find the files you're looking for. But the good news is, the community is only getting bigger. People are looking for more bits and models than ever before. I imagine it won't be a long time to wait until someone comes up with an awesome design that will be perfect for your project.
Let's move on to an even more desperate model. I bought this orc truck for 14 bucks on eBay. No driver, no passenger, broken parts all over the place, and it's missing a wheel. This is a classic piece that is generally thrown into the terrain pile to be used as a damaged or broken vehicle. Not today, my friends. Let's go in deep and save this truck. I started by cleaning up all of the excess glue and cutting off the other wheels. If we're gonna make this a new one, we might as well make four new wheels for it. Then I attached the newly printed wheels I found for free online. This thing is already starting to look like a moving vehicle. The next step was to outfit this wrecked truck with a driver, so I went online and happened to come across several really nice files that I could print out. After he was glued into place, I moved on to some of the more flashy bits. I figured since I was going all out on a conversion, I might as well add some fun features. So I printed out this awesome front guard and slapped it onto the truck. Now we are really getting somewhere. After those pieces were installed, I noticed that the driver seemed a bit lonely, and this orc truck could use a little more firepower on it. After all, why would these guys drive into a battlefield without any weapons? So I printed a little grot with a mounted turret gun and threw him into the passenger position. Once the crew was in place, I decided to add an orky looking bit to the back. At first my thought was to put a tank cannon in the back, and while that seemed appropriate and over the top in the best way, it was also just a little too much. This is supposed to be a transport truck after all, so I decided to go in another direction. I made some bombs, rockets, and got these cool little fence pieces and made the back of the truck look proper orky. I glued everything into place and I called it done. This is why I'm so excited about 3D printing. Not only can you print out models from all sorts of companies selling files, but you can, and for a lot less money, save models that would otherwise end up as a terrain piece, or even worse, a basing feature under a Space Marine boot. Nobody wants that. Using the Anycubic Photon S, I was able to save this army and add serious value to it. Not only did this army get saved, but by using a resin printer, I was able to inject some personality into it. I was able to come up with fun ideas and try things out like I'd never been able to before, and have all the pieces look like they belonged. The resolution of these prints is absolutely incredible. Sitting right next to GW Plastic, which is arguably the best in the business, the resin fits in really well. I know that this may sound crazy, but for me, this couldn't be more of a perfect match. Being able to rescue any miniature, not having to think about finding a part that will fit, is a huge load off my mind. I have glossed over thousands of auctions for miniatures that just seemed like too much work or I knew it would be too hard to find the proper parts to repair it. But now we have the tools, the technology, we can make them better and way cooler. This orc army is something that I will be painting really soon. So if you're not subscribed, I invite you to do that now so you won't miss that epic army rescue. I'm more excited than ever to tackle this project because it feels like my army. How I would want it. It isn't like anyone else's orcs, and I'm so happy about that. Some of these models are absolutely ridiculous. The truck is carrying bombs around in the trunk. Who would do that? Not only was the printer easy to use, but the prints that came out of this little miracle machine were invaluable to rescuing this army. It allowed for a greater level of creativity when it came to converting and fixing these models, and allowed me to really hobby without worrying about where I was going to get some specific part. It was easy and fun, and that's really what we need in this hobby right now.
Thank you, Anycubic, for sponsoring this video and supporting the miniature hobby with excellent technology like the Photon S. And thank you all for joining me on another miniature rescue. If you like something about this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. Once again, I'm Casey, and I will see you in the next video.